What's up everybody, we're back with Spiral 2 Reignited Trilogy. This time we're gonna go Sunny Beach. A much brighter, brighter level than Hurricanes. As you can tell, it's sort of beach themed. It's all sunny and warm. The exact opposite of Hurricanes. It's kinda of why it's sort of funny why they put those portals next to each other. One being dark and stormy, one being nice and sunny. Those boxes look heavy. Oh! Oh! Yep, baby turtles. Oh, they're so cute. Let's talk to the... This character right here. Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Yep, I'm on it. It's not a complaint, but with the way the those lines are delivered, it doesn't sound like there's actual danger. It sounds more like they're a asking Spyro for a favor. And every line was delivered a little, a little bit differently between the PS1 and PS4 versions. Of play. Yeah, there was, there's always some sort of sense of danger in each spiral level, like the risk of falling or being killed by an enemy. And especially, especially during the boss fights, this could be brutal. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to get all the chance in this area. The same creatures as the cutscenes. I forgot that they shocked me with those tools. Or electric staffs, whatever they're called. Pick up the gems. Sorry, Becker Star. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was an enemy. Ah, oh, look at that. That view is just gorgeous. My eyes are actually adjusting to this lighting after Furikos being dark and stormy. And there's something sort of soothing about looking on the horizon of the ocean. I don't know why, it just calms me. Oh yeah, I forgot about that little section right there, <laughs> the platform. Oh, I remember now. This whole section was basically a closed room. This is a far superior, a huge improvement to the PS1 version. I gotta say, let's get this turtle over here. So we gotta activate the gate. Oh. Oh, I forgot about the ladder over there. Yeah, so, I, I didn't think I would have to, but I'm going to have to do some backtracking in this level. I kind of want to go swimming in that water, but I'll probably die. You know, it's kind of silly that... I sort of dropped and fell into the water and died in Hercos because I learned to swim a couple of levels ago and there's actually a level we're going to visit next that's completely underwater. But maybe the water in Hercos was electrified? I don't know. The water workers have captured most of our baby turtles and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Yep, will do. So, I have to defeat more enemies to activate the power-up. And, race through the level to break these boxes open. 
I need to defeat one more enemy, which so I will do. Yep, that activated it. I'm gonna look through here, see if there's any boxes on the other side of that tunnel. Yeah. Most of the most of the big chart changes they, I mean the huge changes they made in the Spyro games from the PS1 have been huge improvements from the from the original. It's just the small changes that I wish they didn't do. Hmm. It's kind of funny. I'm grateful for the big changes, but. I wish they didn't do the small ones. That's kind of a funny way of thinking. Another, another ladder. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Unfortunately, I don't know how to climb yet. So, yeah, I'm going to have to backtrack to this level. Most definitely. So, maybe I, I might leave a couple of straight gems. Since I don't have to worry about getting the gems. Because I have to come back anyway. Yeah, but making the soup out of the turtles. That's definitely a sense of danger right there. Because there's lives at stake there. But. I mean, not lives in reality, lives in the game. What am I, yeah. what am I saying? It's just a game. As I switched to the original music. I play that one. Oh my gosh. I love those orange stripes on Spyro. Yep. Baby Turtles are so cute. Let's recharge. I'm gonna do these in order of closest to the power up to furthest from the power up. So, next one's up here. I'm definitely gonna have to recharge a couple of times. Oh, those turtles are so cute. They're showing their love, literally, <laughs> with having hearts flowing above them. Ah, there's a gem. I was gonna say something, but I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I can tell that the, the multicolored turtles I saw since the beginning are truly baby because they don't have their shells yet. And the one and the turtles standing on the buttons are the older ones. And I think these are teenagers. I could be wrong. Maybe adolescents. Just put sparks to work. Put collecting these gems. How many more boxes do I have? At least a couple more through here. Okay, let's get a charging start. Oh, whoops. I thought I was going to charge right away. But if I shoot here, it looked like the torpedo is spinning out. Like, it looked like, ugh. It would look like underwater that spiral was spinning out a torpedo. But whenever that super flame power up is activated, Spyro will just blow red right in the PS1. I'm seeing PS1 a lot. Sorry about that. But I just love the orange stripes on his back. It makes him a little bit more fierce. A little more fierce in that sense. I only have one more box to go. I just have to find out where it is. Maybe I missed it in the next one. Next area. Let's switch back to Reignited Trilogy music.
Yeah, let me know in the comments whether you want me to continue switching between the two music tracks. Whether you want me to... Yeah, there it is. I missed it from earlier. Whether you want me to keep doing it. I just want to give you guys a... Uh, a preview of both tracks. For comparison's sake. Because... Well, in Crash Bandicoot, I didn't know. I know I didn't make those videos, but the music wasn't as dynamic in Crash as in Spyro. Gotcha. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Thanks, Governor Grummet. Just like in Wallace and Grummet. Another pop culture icon from my childhood. Okay, I got all the orbs I can for right now. Let's go back to tending the baby turtles. Oh, so hard to control underwater. Huh, I can use the power up to boost that turtle up there. Bit of a push. There we go. Hey, now they're in the safe room. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Will do. He sounds truly gratitude. I mean, grateful. All right. So long, turtles. I think that's my shortest video yet. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that one. That is clever. Get revenge on the enemies by making them help you have fun. <laughs> you know, that's the most innocent form of revenge I've ever seen. It's better than physically hurting them, for example. And look at that, in and out in 15 minutes, less than. Alright, on to the next level. It'll actually be the last regular level of this home world, so I always say this level for last. Let's get money bags to lower this wall. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Full 400 jog your memory? Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. And it, it falls right down. Aquaria Towers. Hmm, I see some orange tin in the portal. Wonder what that's about. But remember how I was talking about oddities earlier? You can jump onto that wall from that platform over there. But you have to save that level for last, otherwise, you'd be stuck behind the portal. I mean, behind the wall. Anyway, this is where we're going next. Thank you for watching.